to our very first episode of Helping Down the Road. Have you ever wondered what life would be like if you just left it all behind and went over the road as a professional semi-driver? Well, recently, that's what my husband and I decided to do. We're going to take you along on all our adventures. We'll be eating iconic foods, seeing the sights, and I'll even be recreating some of those foods here in the truck. I'll be using healthy alternatives, and we'll have a lot of fun. It's Healthy Down the Road. First time I drove a truck, I was 21 years old in a 1997 Freightliner. I think it had a 365 under the hood. Nowadays, 23 years later, I got a T680 Kenworth 2020 with a 450 horsepower motor. It makes a huge difference going down the road. This is a beautiful life. I wouldn't have it any other way. But now enough about me, let's get cooking. Tonight, it's actually my husband that's gonna do the cooking. He got the name the cowboy in CDL school. We cook together a lot. He's actually my inspiration for healthy living. Tonight, we're making one of my very favorite dishes. It's Nashville hot chicken with oat flour and oat milk, gluten-free, and we're making it right here inside the truck. This is healthy down the road, so we are making Nashville hot chicken a lot more healthy. We're starting out with some oat flour. I've got some chicken tenders already clean. I'm going to be using cage-free egg beaters. Made with real eggs, but egg beaters. I'm going to mix that with a little bit instead of milk. We're going to go with California Farm. Oat milk. All right. I'm going to go ahead and whip up the eggs with the oat milk. Just stir that up a little bit. Set that off to the side.
got more energy. You don't just want to sit around in your truck all day when you ain't working. I don't just know a little bit about nutrition in the human body. I went to school for exercise science before I started was a truck driver. And I also was a NASM certified per, a personal trainer and group exercise instructor. I know a lot about nutrition and a lot about exercise. I am an over the road truck driver. So it is, it is a little hard sometimes to be able to stop and do something like this. If you got 10 hours off, you've got a half an hour to do something like this. It does not take long to bread up some chicken strips. Your health is never something you should, should sacrifice for a couple of dollars to get something a little bit better for yourself. I've already done up about six of these. It's been about 10 minutes. I got a little tape wall I'll show you in just a second. I got it off of Amazon. It's just a little desk that you put on your lap. But the cleanup for this, tones. And with the remnants of the oak flower in there, straight the trash bag. Now you just toss that. And that right there is how you get a whole group. Nashville hot chicken. Now I'm gonna get this chicken started now. Just wanted to point out that Nashville hot chicken that we're making is not really fried chicken, it's air fried chicken. We got an air fry, we got a Power XL air fryer slash grill slash oven slash toaster that we have in the truck. Power XL, just dump a, a just a hair bit of oil all right, here we go. Let's get some chicken in here. You can use a basket in the air fryer if you'd like. I use it sometimes. I don't always use it. Sometimes I just put it right on the grill. Here's our air fried oat flour and chicken tenders. In the next step, we'll make them hot chicken. Grab your cayenne oil and honey. Hot chicken is just fried chicken that's been drenched in what's called a wet rub. Traditionally, the tenders are dipped in a bowl of wet rub. While traveling through Nashville and Memphis, we noticed that some recipes include a sweet finish to balance the heat of the cayenne. I love that addition, so we will be adding honey. Because my husband and I like a different level of heat in our hot chicken, we'll just be adding these ingredients on top rather than soaking it in a bath of wet rub. I'll take you through that now. First we're gonna add the sweet, then we'll add the heat. The last step will be to add your favorite seasoning blend. My personal favorite is Tony's Creole seasoning. If you like more oil, you can add that here too. First, take your air fried chicken tenders and place them in a bowl. I'm adding an amazing honey that we got at our stop at the corner market in Jackson, Mississippi. Now sprinkle on your cayenne pepper. The more cayenne you add, the hotter your hot chicken will be. Now finish with your favorite seasoning salt or blend. I'm gonna add just a little Tony Sachery's Creole seasoning. Now turn this over onto a piece of toast and dig in. Difficult. On a scale of 1 to 10, that's a 12. 160 feet below the bluffs above the Missouri River, 
sits Kansas City's Subtropolis. With nearly 10 and a half miles of illuminated paved road serving over 300 truck lines, it's the world's largest underground storage complex. It was once the Bethany Stone Limestone Mine. This incredible structure spans over 55 million square feet. How long have you been an over the road professional driver? Six months this time. Well, prior to that, how many years? Three years. Over 2,000 people are employed inside these caves. We were sent to load our trailer in one of its 500 docks. Backing up to this dock in a semi was no easy task. For some of us, a 30-year mortgage sounds more like a prison sentence. I used to joke and call it the real estate industrial complex. So when my second parent passed from cancer, I bought a motorhome. Later, my husband suggested that we answer the call when there was a shortage of over-the-road professional drivers. I jumped at the chance and it's been the best decision I ever made. Though life isn't always glamorous, it's always romantic. I get to see a sunset in a new state every single night. I'm so moved by all the
the people that have chosen to live in an RV or a semi or even a houseboat like my father. Sometimes you have to leave home to find your tribe. Since I've lost two parents to cancer, I've studied a lot about antioxidants. When we get to the top of this mountain here, we're going to stop and make an antioxidant salad dressing. Here, along the edge of the Smoky Mountains, we'll be making our ginger pomegranate antioxidant salad dressing. It's absolutely delicious and it supports the immune system. We came up with it when we were in the Subtropolis Caves of Kansas City on episode 2, so that's how it got its name. Go ahead and clean your surface first. Then, get your ingredients ready. For this dressing, we are using Creole seasoning. Palmanian balsamic vinegar, pomegranate juice, grapefruit juice, olive oil. I'm going to get a few cloves of garlic. Have my garlic pressed nice and handy. Go ahead and cut the fresh ginger. Go ahead and cut it in half so it's easier to deal with in the garlic press. Start out with another pomegranate juice bottle. Go ahead and add my grapefruit juice in first. Don't have to do a bunch, but enough to get your flavor in there. I like the grapefruit in there mixed with the pomegranate. But the pomegranate's a little overpowering, so grapefruit juice is good. About halfway with your juice. Go ahead and add in my olive oil. Really simple to make. And I don't like measuring devices, so I don't use them. Go ahead and add in that. I'm gonna do a little bit more. Depending on how much you how you like the flavor, add in just about a quarter of that bottle. Next go in with the vinegar. Nice balsamic. that in there like that. Now I'll go ahead and add in my ginger and garlic mixture. For the final ingredient we got Creole seasoning. Add in one tablespoon of seasoning and give it a good shake. Oh, this stuff is really great right out right out the gate but it's real magic is in the next day after it sits in the refrigerator for about 24 hours. 
Oh man, that is a great dressing. This is one of those $3 salads from Walmart. We're gonna throw out the dressing that it came with and we are going to add a packet of tuna for lean protein and half an avocado for good HDL fats. This dressing is a great choice if cancer runs in your family and it has mental health benefits as well. I'll leave you with this beautiful smoky mountain rain. Thanks for riding along with us.